Okay, it's Ben. We're gonna do a optic installation on this Canik SFX Rival. This is the Mechanic MO2 that comes with this gun. Uh, so it comes with all the hardware you need. This four-sided wrench here comes with a bunch of different bits. So we're gonna pick the Torx bit that aligns with these screws on the optic cover plate. You can see this that houses the rear sight uh, aperture and everything. We're just going to get our Torx bit here and unscrew this all the way out. One screw. There's two screw. That lifts straight off. I'm just gonna put that back on the box here. The uh, adapter plates for the optics are numbered. I think one through four, R0, one through R04. In the manual, it will tell you which plate you need for which optic you have. So for the Mechanic MO2, we need the optic plate number one. So. I'm gonna see the way in which the screw holes will align, just like that. Cover plate or optic adapter plate is going to go onto the socket here. Then we're going to use some screws. I think you can use the ones that come off of the iron sight cover plate or in your little uh, pistol, canic pistol driver thing in the grip here. Comes with a bunch of hardware, screws, bits, extra stuff, extra magazine release buttons, fiber optics for the front sight. These two screws right here are the ones that we need for the optic installation. Again, I think it's the same as uh, the ones that will fit the cover plate on. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, let's see if I got any more in here, there we go. I'm gonna take my screws here. I'm gonna apply a little bit of blue Loctite this is a uh, Loctite 242, medium strength, just to the end of the threads here. Take my driver tool here and the large screw holes here. Just screw in and get it snug, just a little bit past hand tight. There's no torque specifications I can find anywhere for these, not in the manual and not online. So I don't know exactly how tight we're supposed to torque these, but um, with the blue Loctite, it should stay on there just fine. Just with a little bit of elbow grease, slightly past tight is what I want. Okay, so now my optic plate is on the slide. I'm gonna retrieve the screws that came out of the iron sight plate, put my optic down on top of the plate, but first we need to put the battery in. So battery goes uh, negative terminal down, I'm just gonna confirm that I can see the dot is on in there. Yep, I do. Put it down on the plate. There are these two little recoil bosses that will fit into the front of the optic. Slides right on there, it should fit perfectly. Two more screws here. Make sure the threads are clean. Tiny bit of blue Loctite on the end of the thread. Into the hole there. Tiny bit of Loctite on the end of the thread here. Into the screw hole there. And then the same exact process. You wanna be careful not to tighten one of these all the way down and then leave the other one totally untightened. So I'm gonna get that a little bit snug, get this one a little bit snug, and then just kind of go back and forth, tightening them up until I feel satisfied. There we go. So there's your installation of the MO2 on the Canic SFX Rival slide. Barrel goes back in, recoil assembly goes back in. Back onto the frame. There we go. Yes, Ben is available for private performance pistol coaching. Go to our website and look under our team page and you will see Ben there and you can learn more about him. He's pretty awesome.